Welcome to Dialpad, the most modern business communications platform. We've taken every form of communication that you rely on and unified it into one app. Calling a client, meeting with your team, texting a colleague. It's all here on all your devices. Voice intelligence is by your side to transform your conversations into something you can see and use, giving you and your team a deeper look into action items and insights. Voice intelligence does the legwork to capture the details that matter most while you make and receive calls, send messages, and join meetings in an instant. Today, we'll discuss exactly what you need to know to get started in Dialpad. First, decide where you'd like to download and install the Dialpad app. Since it's available across all major operating systems, it's easy to bring your own device to Dialpad. You can download and install the Dialpad app on your computer or smartphone. Choose your device, then visit dialpad.com download and start downloading the app directly. Once installed, log in and you're ready to call, message, and meet. Now let's take a closer look at the Dialpad app for Windows and Mac OS, which we often refer to as our desktop app. Open the Dialpad app and you'll see the header, sidebar, and your inbox. Let's start with the header. In the header, access audio settings to determine the microphone, speaker, and camera used by the Dialpad app. You can also test audio settings to see if these components are working properly and then make adjustments optimizing call quality. Use the search bar in the center of Dialpad's header to locate contacts and messages. Enter a search query and the Dialpad app quickly returns results to call, message, or meet. See your name, dial pad number, and current status at a glance to the right side in the header. Set a status to indicate to your team what you're currently up to and if there's a specific project you're working on. Select the drop-down in the header and you'll see additional options to adjust app settings. Go here to customize call and message notifications. Be sure dial pad everywhere is turned on for easier multitasking. With Dialpad Everywhere, you're able to control Dialpad during a call even without the desktop app in view. Do Not Disturb also sits in this drop-down. Turn on Do Not Disturb mode to prevent all call and message notifications from coming through. And this applies to any calls to shared lines you might be assigned to. Do Not Disturb can be turned on indefinitely while out of office, or you can set a timer while you're working on a pivotal task that requires every bit of your attention without any disturbance. Use the sidebar in the desktop app to call, message, or start a meeting. We'll cover those capabilities in just a moment, but right now, let's focus on the other items here. In the sidebar, you can open your inbox to display all communications, calls, messages, voicemails, recordings, and more. You can also view a directory with all contacts from the sidebar. Launch the directory and you'll see dedicated tabs for frequent contacts and all contacts. You can also easily turn to a group chat or specific department within your organization. With these tabs, you'll never waste time trying to find contact information or following up on a conversation. Elsewhere in the sidebar, you'll find a running list of ongoing conversations. Dialpad sorts this into favorites and recents. If you often call or chat with the same contact, favorite them so they remain near the top of the sidebar. Otherwise, the contacts who you've called or chatted with will appear in the recent section. Choose a contact in either section and your conversation history fills the screen along with buttons for calling, messaging, and meeting. We've talked a lot about navigating the Dialpad app, and now you're ready to make a call, send a message, and start a meeting. Icons for each of these capabilities lives at the top of the sidebar, so they're always at the ready. Let's first go over making a call as well as answering a call and switching in between devices. Make a call by selecting the phone icon at the top of the sidebar. Enter a contact's name or entire phone number, then start dialing. During an active call, several controls are on screen. These let you record a call, mute your microphone, place a call on hold, transfer a call to another user or department, and add a caller. There's also the snippet button to record the last 10 seconds and the next 10 seconds of conversation, which then gets stored in the call summary, and we'll dive deeper into that shortly. By the way, voice intelligence acts during a call, not just after. AI-based technology analyzes the words and phrases used by you and the caller to build a real-time transcript. 
It's also gathering action items and moments useful later on. So even if you misheard the caller or just forgot a key detail, voice intelligence fills in the gaps and adds context to a conversation. If you receive a call, a notification will appear at the top of the sidebar and, outside a dialpad app, as a pop-up alert for easy answering. Voice intelligence and all call controls appear once again. Answer on any device, and you can even switch a call between devices without missing a word. Need to run out of the office? No problem. With a call started on the desktop app, open your mobile app and choose the active call. In a single tap, Dialpad switches the call from your computer to your smartphone for on-the-go communication. Take conversations with you anywhere, at any time. Let's move on to sending a message in Dialpad. Send a message by selecting the chat icon at the top of the sidebar. Enter a contact's name or entire phone number, then send the message. Don't forget that Dialpad also allows you to send images, videos, and GIFs. If you receive a message, an in-app notification badge and a pop-up alert outside the app will notify you. Both sent and received messages can be starred for reference in the future or forwarded via email to yourself or another contact. And finally, take a look at starting a meeting in Dialpad. Start a meeting by selecting the video icon at the top of the sidebar. Enter a contact's name or entire phone number, then send the invitation as a message. Uber Conference will launch from the Dialpad app, and then you're all set to run a conference. We've covered how to communicate, and now it's time to review your conversations. Remember that voice intelligence in Dialpad and Uber Conference is your assistant, not a robot. It utilizes machine learning as well as natural language processing to understand the way in which people actually talk. So log in to dialpad.com slash analytics to see a call, message, and conference data organized in easy-to-understand charts. If you'd like to take a closer look at specific calls and view a call summary, switch to the Call History tab. Select the VI icon alongside a call and you'll access a call summary that includes a transcript, moments, and the recording. It's all the information you'd normally spend hours figuring out and maybe never discover at all, arranged for you neatly. Of course, a call summary can also be shared with coworkers and your team for peer reviews. Dialpad's web portal is where you'll adjust account-specific settings. Visit dialpad.com slash settings while logged in and at a glance see your name, job title, and email address. You're then able to view your Dialpad, mainline, and Uber conference numbers. Designate caller ID here and the number chosen will apply to all your devices. In the Call Handling and Voicemail section, set a voicemail greeting. We've created a default greeting for you, but customize this to fit your personality or business. We'll even send email notifications if you miss a call and receive a voicemail, but forget to check your Dialpad app's inbox. Here, you'll also get to determine exactly how to route a call. Go to voicemail, play a busy signal, or reroute to another team member or department. Take calls 24-7 or only during specific hours. Dialpad's personal working hours and SMS auto-reply features ensure that calls and messages are handled properly while you're unavailable. It's your work style, so tailor Dialpad the way you want. We cover just the basics to get started in Dialpad, but there's a lot more you can do to work efficiently. Visit our help center at help.dialpad.com to learn more about specific features and tips. And if you ever run into trouble, reach out to our support team at dialpad.com slash contact dash support. We're happy to answer any questions or walk through steps to help you. The tools we use to communicate with each other have evolved and become more complex, but the way we communicate should stay simple and personal. We put that front and center so you can focus on your work and people. Dialpad will take care of the rest. As always, happy dialing.